Last season was pretty incredible. We finished second in the league to Real Madrid and we both achieved 98 points. And we also reached a Champions League semi-final, but PSG beat us 5-1 on aggregate. So season number two is here and this is going to be a big one. Stay tuned as we have brand new signings coming up and of course, three brand new kits and we have a budget of 125 million. And as you guys can see by this chart, this season we're going to have Adidas and Emirates for our sponsor. As we finish second in the league, but I've gone and messed it up and told the kit maker to make the wrong cut. So we have this, which is pretty good looking. I apologize about that, guys. This is the formation we were using last season. What is it? A 4 2 3 1 or a 4 4 1 1? Whatever you want to call it, I feel we're going to mix it up this season. I like the look of the 5 3 2. We're playing through at the back, so it's defensive. In fact, you could say it's a 5 at the back. We have Griezmann and Cam, two center mids, and I feel we need to be getting Felix in the standing 11. That's why we're playing this. He's now 85 overall. He's got good stats and he's 23. He's got great potential. He needs to get in there. And Correa, this guy scored like 26 goals last season. We were saying we need a proper number nine. I'm not too sure about that. With Felix and Correa up top with Griezmann behind, I feel we'll have enough goals in this side this season to possibly win the Champions League and of course go for La Liga. Yeah, big expectations for this season. Probably even challenging for the cup. If you guys are excited for it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new and turn the bell on. This guy is saying he thinks we should play Felix as he's 23 and we need to give him a chance. And is our number seven. He just has to be in the Steiny 11. That was one of the comments that made me make the decision to actually change the formation. And we also have this guy saying change the formation, play Felix at right wing and Lorene at center mid. And no, we haven't done exactly that, but Lorene at center mid. This guy has amazing stats. Delo at right wing back. This guy is amazing. I mean, check out them stats. He can pretty much play anywhere as well. But Koke has now gone down to 83 overall. Of course, we're not going to sell him is a club legend he's played the most games in the history he's been here since like 2010 i mean he's been around since day one and to be fair without wingers carrasco can play cam Firmino, of course lamar can play center mid or cam we might move him on though and to is currently a left winger but he can very comfortably play center forward in fact that's his best position he can even play cam of course we do have a lot of players back from loan like this guy cameo 22 25 right at 18 million by juventus we're just gonna accept that we have a simeone here of course diego simeone it only has a son who plays in Serie A, but is this another one? It might be, but 11.8 million will sell him. We've got so many players back from loan that you guys won't actually see the majority of these sales. But there is one deal I'm going to get done real quick, and that is Mikel Marino. We are signing this guy. I've already decided it. 27, 83 overall. This guy has actually got good potential. He may have lost a bit of it. We can get this guy on the cheap. I think his contract is at Spiring Commander of the Air, but 24 million. I think an extra million probably will do the job here. Yeah, and it does. 25 million. This guy can go on the bench. There will be a player that we sell because of this. We will get to that, but I really want to try and get this guy in the starting 11 at some point. I feel he fits the system well. He's got a high, high work rate, I'm pretty sure. But here's our first signing of season two in the new Atletico shirt. Isn't too different from last season. Probably wondering what player will he replace on the bench. It's going to be Tamar Lamar. He's 84 overall. He's right mid. He can play center mid. Best position, probably is Cam, but I feel we should sell him. He's 27. I mean, he's a very good player, very good stats, but there are some players that we need to move on. Oh, we could cash in here on Samuel Lino. This guy did actually get like 17 goal contributions last season. Out on loan, 31.9 million. I want to loan him out, so I'm going to reject that. Tell you what, we're going to make a lot of money with selling players. Cunha, 34.5 million. I forgot about him, but we'll accept that. Oh, we finally have a transfer offer for Tamala Mark. Can we get a little bit bit more from Liverpool for it. 41.8. I mean, that's his valuation. What about 45? His contract may be expiring, so that is why. They straight up say yes. We probably could have got a bit more there. He hasn't even sold yet, and we have 160 million. Sold a bunch of players. We signed one player. You're probably wondering, where else do we make signings? Well, this formation, we're playing three centre-backs. Savic is now 32. 84 rated is very good. I think Kondogbi is probably a better backup, so I may trade him in for someone else, like a proper good centre-back. And I still feel we need a proper number nine for the bench. If we take a look at the centre-back first, we already have Perry Torres, who okay, we can't sign him because he's just moved. Nicolas Sule is still an option. Laporte, Spanish, but he's gone to PSG, so that kind of makes that 
awkward to sign him. And he's 29. We kind of need to start signing younger players. Lucas Hernandez, Ruben Diaz. This guy's going to cost like 90 million. That, that's going to be an expensive signing. It's hard to get him out of City as well. Marquinhos is probably the best option. He's cheap because his contract is expiring. It's only got a year left. He's 29, 88 overall, but he is 29. Again, the last couple of series, we're just signing so many old players. Lisandro Martinez, he's Argentine, 25. It, I mean, he's vicious. As a United fan, you know you have a good player. When rival fans don't like your players, like Bruno, Martinez, Casemiro, they just get triggered by them. This guy, I'd put him on the shortlist because he's got like 88 potential. It cost a good 100 million. That would be a very expensive signing. I'm pretty sure we signed Martinez before in another series, right? We have done a United one. We've used him before. So I'm just going to go for Marquinhos. This looks like it's a, uh, a deal we could definitely get done. You're probably wondering, what is the limit for the transfers this season? Last season, it was 40. I'm pretty sure 50. Well, this season, let's just say it's 50. It may have been that last, but it's fine. Let's try swap Savic plus, I don't know, 38 million with a 10% salon clause. That may just get it done. It does. We could have maybe saved a little bit of money there. Okay, this guy's on a lot of wages, which Atletico Madrid can deal with, by the way. Diego Simononi earns 500k a week. I didn't actually know that, but we'll, we'll keep it to 250. He should just say yes, and he does. Number six, Mark Quinios. He probably took Safik's number, and this guy fits Diego Simononi's team really well. I've just realized. 38 million plus Safik. Is this a good deal? It is. We got an A. We have just improved this squad so much, by the way. 88 overall. Our defense is one of the best in the world. We have a fully South American back three. I mean, we almost have an entire back five from South America. Lodi Brazil, Delo Portugal. The Portuguese is going to be spoken quite a lot in this side, especially going forward as well. Our tactics this season, by the way, we're pressing after possession loss. We're going 80 depth and offense, balanced possession. And look at this. We're getting everybody in the box because when we're losing like 4-1 and we change to this tactic, we score so many goals. We make comebacks. So this season, it's about high scoring games. And Tamar Lamar is officially off to Liverpool for 45 million. And check this out. Adiemi has a 45 million euro release clause. So we can actually save quite a bit of money here. So we're just going to pay that. He's 81 overall at 21. This is a fantastic signing. I mean, if a Man United came in with horrible negotiations, Dorman could easily get that 90 million. A five-year contract, 170 million release clause. I mean, that works fine. And the wages, 120 k a week. He should say yes to that, and he does. I sure am excited for this season. We're going to play really good football, as I spoke about. The tactics, lots of goals, and we have made some really, really good signings. I mean, I can see this guy playing quite a bit. Ah, oh, I forgot to show the kits. I've got to go back in time. I just played the first game of this season. I can't believe Sociedad scored that many goals against us. And that bicycle kick from 40 yards out was absolutely crazy. You can see the home kit here looks amazing. Number six, our new signing, Mark Quinios. It has a nice shine to it, like no kit ever. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. A bit of a more orangey red or just a brighter red this season. It looks pretty nice. The new white kit is looking very, very nice. I'm slightly colorblind, so I'm probably going to fail at guessing the color of this. Is it tan or slightly green? But this is looking solid. Excuse the pun. It is just one solid color, isn't it? My bad, guys. That was the third kit. This is the away kit. Jav Felix repping it. This is the one IRL that is leaked. In fact, all three of the kits are from IRL. And how strange is this? I mean, check out that badge. That is some OG stuff. But I'm excited to use it this season. It's on the thumbnail, so you guys probably think you're clicking on a Deprativo video. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about them. Of course, we can't forget the goalkeeper kit. Oh, Black is rocking this for the season. Nice and simple. Looks really nice. Big shout out to MOI who made the kits. If you guys want to support him or get your own kits, then go check out his Buy Me A Coffee or Patreon. That will be linked in the description. In fact, I've just realized we've got Marino in the side and we signed him from Sociedad. So if we get a penalty, I think you know what that means. Adiemi, nice run there. Oh, keep it well. With that pace, we'll be seeing him make him runs like that quite a bit. adiemi has got so much pace here. Look at him coming into the box onto that left foot. Couldn't get the shot off. To be fair, I did expect a little bit more from a game like this. Bro, Sociedad have done well to stay in it. Go on, win that header, DePaul. Griezmann win that as well. Come on, break, please. Let's get that goal. Marino on the ball. Felix, nice bit of passing. Adiemi out wide there. Now back to Adiemi. Good stuff. The shot, Adiemi. That was poor. Here's Joe Felix. Now Antoine Griezmann. He's got dribbling ability.
get it. Got wide though to Lorene. Moves into the box. Nice pass there. Ooh, handball. Looks like that's a potential penalty. Oh boy, a penalty here would be absolutely massive. Look at this. This is the situation. The ball comes up and hits him on the hands there. That's a penalty. Oh no, what did I say, man? Marino would take it. Absolutely not. Antoine Griezmann, we need to win this game. Top right hand corner. Oh, what a pen. What a pen. Antoine Griezmann kicks off the season with a goal. Kicks off the season with a silly celebration. I don't know how we managed yet. 98 points last season. That is just incredible. Oh, Delow is right footed. He's right footed. Let's bend that. Delow over the bar. That's a nice header. Griezmann has found Correa. Griezmann is trying to get back post. He's going to find that space. Just going to put the ball in. He goes to take it down. Adiemi is onside. He gets his goal. The opener is debut. 2-0. We're going to sell the three points in the bag. What a way to start off La Liga. Griezmann takes it down. That's that's just a nice assist, isn't it? And that is a nice finish. Took about a decade to see the replay. Oh, I'm so glad we got that second goal. Oh, he's bottled that. Oh, come on. We need that clean sheet. Don't let the keeper down, Marconios. That's what we signed you for. Get that up the pitch. Don't even need to. That's full time. Get a 3-1 win versus Ebar away from home. DePaul, Joe Felix, and Joe Felix again. Now we have Alaves, and we get a 3-0 win. DePaul again, Griezmann, and Correa. This is our Champions League group stage for the season, by the way. Spurs, Marseille, and Shakhtar, Donetsk. And we currently have transfer deadline day, so we're just going to completely skip over that. We've got our business done. We've made the three signings we can. We do actually have Spurs straight after this game a couple of days after so we will make some rotations to be fair we could have actually done with not selling Savic. don't know if we could have got that mark quinio still done under 50 million definitely not but i think in january we signed another center back quite a rotated side here we get a 2-1 win from mino and adiemi picks up a knock though it's a two-week injury so we will miss this next game versus spurs doesn't look like they've made too many changes to their squad champions league we'd normally make a few changes but we'll just go out like this all right, here come the mass serial winners. Son number seven, Ben Tankart. If you're OG enough to remember his amazing long shots. And shout out to you, Griezmann. Big game for him here. As I said, I'm excited to see how we'll do in a system where he's just the cam with two in front of him. He's making a run there. Couldn't get him the ball, though. Oh, that's a nice interception, Mark Quinios. That is a fantastic one. Slips that there to Griezmann. Good block. Here comes Lorenek going on a bit of a run there. Now we've got Jao Felix. Lifts that out wide to Correa. Just going to smash nope. it from that angle. Good save. Good reach by the keeper. Good hand. Good dive. Good footwork. Nice boots. Yeah, good delay on the right hand side. Now Jao Felix. So he's got a lot of space here. He's got the pace. He's moving forward. Jao Felix, what's he going to do? Can he finish it? Jao Felix, another good save. Who is it in goal? I, I doubt it's still Hugo Lloris. He's got a left foot there. So we go to hit it. It is Pickford. I said there'd be loads of goals. And uh, I wasn't wrong, was I? I mean, wow, this is incredible. Jao Felix, nice touch. Goes to shoot. Oh, what a goal. There we go. I knew that was going to go in. Soon as we criticized them for their goals. But last season, we did a lot of creating from the width, from the left wing, the right wing. And we've got to really change that up this season. So it probably wasn't the formation to switch to straight away. We've got to do it now. We've committed to it. And that was a fantastic goal. Here comes Noddy. Ball over the top there for Correa. Goes to header it down. Okay, comes out. Lorene. I, I mean, is that for us? I hope it is. It is. Definitely not hitting that, though. To be fair, I hit one last episode. I didn't even make the video because it was so bad. But a knuckleball here. Griezmann, please. Just just be decent. Goes up. Ooh, okay. I, I kind of see how it works. At least we're very good defensively in this system. We don't really concede many goals. Ooh. Ooh, Gary Neville. Oh, no. Harry Kane turned his man. Goes to hit it. Good save. No, 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 no. No. The rebound. It's this fraud as well. Are you kidding me, man? Let's, let's play a game. Who could be the slowest defender to get to the rebound? Jimenez, what are you doing? You're not even sprinting. You're just running. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Stayed on his feet. Good stuff. Nice pass there. Correct. We're going to win this game. We have to win this game. Diego Simeone is going to go absolutely crazy. What, what's he doing there? Correct. Bend it. Go on. Oh, check that out. 
pull that out the net. Fantastic. This is a goal and a half. There we go. Spurs with their rebound. We're scoring beautiful goals out here. That's a ball whipped in the box. Kane, rebound. Yeah, that should be it. That should be the win. We really need to sort out something. Maybe go to forward runs. We need to score more goals. Here's Felix coming forward. He's going to pull that out wide there to Delo. Griezmann's in the box. Power pass. Or Joe Felix. Oh, he's missed it. But that's the win. To be fair, fast build up forward runs. I feel probably is the best option. It's a bit counter attacking FC, but we do have a very good defense and it works with this formation. So let's just do it. We now have Rayo Vallecano. It's a 4 0 win. Correct. Did he score a hat trick? He didn't. He got a brace. So after five games in the league, we are top of the league with 1 5. Barcelona, two points behind us. They've drawn a game. Madrid are five points behind us after five. That, that's pretty big. So you'd expect Barca to be in a title race with us this season. I have applied a mod so they have a slightly different kit. It is absolutely hideous, by the way. Kind of wish I didn't apply it, but we're going to have to make a few changes here. We have some tired squads. Lodi, we're going to bring in Reynaldo. Yemi yeah, still injured, so we can't bring him in. Guys, to be fair, Marino is 83 defending. He can play anywhere with them stats. He could even play at the back. We're going to start him there. Why not? Oh, no, 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 no. I could save. Now here's our turn to attack. Here's Angel Correa. Griezmann making a run. I'm going to drag it out wide. Wait for people to kind of gather in the middle. Oh, he's done well there. Really well. Going to move it on. Out wide there. Lorene. Nice overlap. Fantastic. This is what we want to do. Oh, that is so good. Woo! Oh, we're 1-0 down. That's not what we wanted. Check, check out that kit. It's dreadful. Looks like a, a, an 80s disco outfit or something. That, that is a, uh, a terrible goal to concede. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, get back. Great tackle. That's a nice pass there. Lorene, someone make a run over the top. Nice overlap. Diego Delo to finish nope. it. Oh, go on, rebound. <laughs> Lorene blocked. Is anything going to happen in this game? We may have to actually revert back to our old formation. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Please be close. Oh, man. Griezmann has 86 free kicks. I mean, you have to get it a lot higher. And you have to put a hot... Oh, no. I've got to mess it up. He skied that. He has skied that. Why? Why, why, why? Left-footed players. I don't do from free kicks. We've been over this. No, 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 <laughs> no. Good save, good save. Got 60 minutes. We're 60 minutes in. It's 2 0, isn't it? Yeah, 2 0. Ooh, Barcelona. Barcelona. Most beautiful club in Spain. They are back for the title race this season by the looks of it. Hey, okay, Marquinhos. Nice. Can we at least get a goal? That, that's a run. Depay. Yes, he's always oh, offside. Come on. Looks like this will be our first loss in La Liga this season. But we just can't get anything going here. We can't create anything. A I mean, look at that defense there by Kunde. We could see a third goal here before it ends. We will. Oh, what a save. Come on, get back up. Nice save. I just want to see one goal, please. Porta favor. All over the top. Griezmann takes it down. Oh, come on, man. Do you want to go a little bit slower? Just a tad. And that's it. Useless. I mean, Felix still thinks he plays for Chelsea. I don't know what that's all about. You need to try here. You're playing for a proper football club. We weren't founded in 2004. This is Atletico Madrid. We could go back to this formation. That'd be interesting. We didn't really make the transfers to do this, though. It would be a bit strange. Give your suggestions down below. What, what do we do in this scenario? Adi Emi's coming back from injury. I think we really need to get him in there. Maybe go for a another formation with two strikers get your suggestions down below if you're excited for the next episode leave a like subscribe turn the bounce don't miss it guys what's it barcelona crew mode new episode will be out in the next couple of days click here